So, please everybody <laughs> inside. The time running so fast. This master course, you know, we only started and now already half of the master course. And uh, we finishing our first half with a very special master class given by Vio Viola. You know, Viola is big violin, yes? You just take, you, you take violin, you put in the water and it grow up to become Viola. <laughs> I'm joking because my daughter play viola. <laughs> so I'm really pro violist. And I myself play viola as well. I would advise every violinist to play viola. viola. You put the vi violin in water and yes. after the viola. <laughs> repertoire and wonderful sonority which can really contribute to you <laughs> sonority when you play violin. So I'm really happy and proud to invite a, a wonderful, outstanding Israeli viola player. Yelat Karni to conduct this masterclass.
As you know, it was written for the arpeggione. It had no bow, of course. It had frets, so it couldn't slide or do anything. But Schubert was so impressed with the person who made the arpeggione, Schuster, that he wrote this as a tribute to this new instrument to him. Of course, mainly for the cello and the gamba and then the viola. And we can do much more with the piece than not sliding on the frets. He was also a big um, um, appreciator of Beethoven's music. And I think I told you that in one of our lessons this week, it's kind of a transitional piece between <coughs> his approach to classic music, the classicism, the Beethoven, and transferring into the beginning of the Romantic era. And unlike Beethoven, there are many moments in this piece where he showed happiness and joy and agony and sorrow at the same time, which is rather new to Beethoven's music. And I think we can explore a little bit of that, if we may. So another thing that I think you should take into consideration is the way you use your bow as means of expression. Um, later on in romantic music, we, we can do more of those portatos, agogic moments. I would say in this piece a little less to be more influenced with the classical part of the approach to this. Let's start the, the beginning. I think two bars or something. Mm -hmm. that maybe a singer would go oh, it would take a little time. So you can allow yourself to take a little time. Mm -hmm. Now, the way you play now is much more thoughtful than before. And Anna, maybe you can lead into the first uh, entrance. Try to control the, the way you, you, you 
change the bow. And vibrate a little the C without giving any bow pressure or extra motion. Directly. Yes. When you see those, cord those cordatos here, I would not uh, slur the uh, B natural into the... But... Now, go the step, the musical steps a little bit. And then start to develop after that. Directly. Yes, but try to keep those three, try to keep those three eight notes as a part of what you did before to what comes after. Don't stick them out in the same intimacy that you. Now, time. Yes, and same. Now, okay, we're going direction romantic, but this is to César Franck. You know what I mean? You understand what I mean? And another thing, um, try not to uh, make too much pedagogic on those two. Try to play them more legato. Let's take bar 13. to the a little bow management if you of course you'll do that but stay here for this so plan your bow a little bit stay up now, up, up. No. Several funk. Okay. Semplice. Okay, also this. What's more important, this or this? Okay, so you play again. Plan the plan the phrase. Let's do this. Yes. Still, still, this has to be much more simple. Try to play it. Try to play it once. Just straight. Also here. Rather that you vibrate the D than make any agogic. Try to, and here, this is again, we go between classical and romantic. And here, you can make this turn a little more parlando. And okay. try, try to play it a little earlier. Sing the F a little. Take more time on the F on the turn. Yes, something in between. Now a little more.
more classical. I would, I would not give two gestures, but make this F short after the legato. Yes. Okay, nice. Now I know it's a lot of information, but the main thing I want you to focus on is the way you express yourself rather from inside and not from the outside. Try to play it from the beginning. I will think only about that. And a little more simply, check. Where it's romantic, you do a great job. Don't be too much. Think of all those moments. The César Franck moment and the agogic moments. Think more of legato. Two bars. so fast here. It's out of context for me. We really have to find the golden middle between the classical, the influence of Beethoven, and to transition into, because you know, after that he composed the big C major quartet, which was like, wow. He never wrote concertos, but he was a master of chamber music. So you have to find a way to, let's move on. Uh, 22. <laughs> Less. Nine. Here, here you can really change the character. Don't think of a big diminuendo. Stay loud. goes, I would try and fill this place a little more alla breve. And, and watch the, um, the slides. I don't think they're so... Um, uh, something else. I would, I would force myself maybe to play fourth uh, finger. Alla breve. It's good to come up bow here because of what comes after. Thank you. 
the first time here in the legato, but actually I would save that little gimmick to the second mm -hmm. time, which is a little like a variation on the first, so don't take time here, mm -hmm. you know? Let's play. That sound, this vibrato sounds to me a little more like Elgar in concerto. A little simply chirp. A la breve. towards the C string, otherwise it all sounds too flat, see? Also, 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 I don't think, I don't think this is befitting here to take time. Ta -dum -pa, pi -da -pa. I would go. Go, go! Go! So, at some point, we should have a little moment, like here. I would not play that in tempo. That's kind of like an operatic moment. Okay. Very good. Tom, pakata kata kata. Change in tempo. Alla breve. Time. Be careful. you know, we also have man, many uh, versions of play, playing this piece, octave-wise. I would not play here. And there are some more places. I would play.
This pa dum pa dum pa dum. And maybe abba is always good to start. So try that. Da 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 da. Here it can go down to the lower A. Okay. You're not counting. Okay. Also here. you take time and I don't know why. Why you stop on this fourth beat or that fourth beat. I would play it a little more straight, like two bar phrases. <laughs> Take a little time there. Ta -da. Go. Just, just last thought before we have to finish, is that I would do that not on the upbeat, but... On it. Just a little tiny moment. Okay. So, the connection between classical to romantic, where to use those agogics, which is less in this mode, and a little operaic moments. Just think about all those things, because I know you're doing them. Thank you very much.
Pope Langelo is, unlike everything I said before, let's scratch all that, because in this piece, you can do all those things I thought are not appropriate for Schubert. So, regarding the beginning, I mean, of course, it's kind of free, but if you make it too free, because the piano cannot hold that pedal forever, like orchestra does. It, it's kind of an orchestra doing tremolo for you. So at some point, that note will dis disappear, and you will not have the, you know, the bottom of it. And of course, we can do that a hundred different ways, but I would not wait on each one. For instance, in the beginning you can do as, as you like, or and maybe here a little more rubato, a go game, not so straight. Don't get so stuck with that. Because then it changes. See? This is kind of stormy. Here. So here I can do something. Now, the little notes, I know they're written in piano, but you should have more presence, otherwise the, the piano will cover you. Um, and here she kind of composes um, a rubato to slow down. Dum, pa, pa, da, dum, and take this uh, comma seriously. Stop and then continue. Start again. That's nice, much nicer. Just be careful when you play. That's a nice slide. But that's not. And make a different timing between the first slide to the second in the octaves. Good. That, that was too long. <laughs> Try go on the D string. No, mi sola si. And now, and now go. She composed very difficult, uh, difficult because she wants you to keep the forte all the way and then um, piano. <laughs> Try in one bow. for the piano, it's like too, too small. Yes, that was good, that was good, but more rhythmical. Tom, Papa. Yes, another thing, another thing is to bring out those notes that we'll never hear. Give a little on the A with the right hand. But 
try, try to um, try to really um, brighten this last triplets. Uh, don't play till the last minute, and then take this, the, the comma really more seriously. So there is like a little gap between you and the piano. Yeah? <laughs> Now, I would make those two slides differently. You know, this is one of many climaxes that she wrote in this piece. Um, maybe different times and different kinds of slides. Ta -ta -ta. Don't change, don't change the color on the A, but on the E flat. Da 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 da. Again? Da 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 da. Yes. What's, what's important in this phrase is that you connect between the 16 notes and the triplets. Ta -ta 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 -ta. So it doesn't sound like two different entities. And take more time into three. Ti -da 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 -ya, the next climax. it a little better. Simply? That was good, all the connections. This, this dotted is a little too free. Ta, ta, ta. Connect it more. Ta, da, da, da. Take time. Ta, hey, Louise. Ti, da, da, da. There. Ti, da, da, da. I. Don't stop so much, it, it sounds a little immature. And then there is some place to make a, dim, a, a little subito. But something here you can then, and then it break this. Big, tie, but round. Same place? Good. Good. Yes, you can also do a little more rubato. Don't play all those eight notes the same, you know? You take different times, otherwise it's repetitive. I, I'm sure you can do whatever you want, but not the same three times. Connect. Round. Da -da, right there. Da -ya, not, not two chops. T round. Like the bridge is round, so is the chord. Yes. And then we can just draw, push it. The same. 
Yes. Let's jump. Also here, many, many things that you do differently the second time where she writes sonore, it's not only to change the color, but also little ti different timings. You know, where she comes in? For me, for me, you run away expressively from the, the triplet a little. Enjoy the triplet as well. Also this. Sometimes I miss sometimes I miss a little of your sound. Enjoy the, the chromatic moment. Sometimes you release a little bit going down bow. Right there? One. Yes. Now different. Plan that with the triplet. Enjoy the triplet here too. That was very pretty. That was very nice. You know, the, um, she was influenced by Debussy and Von Williams with all those folk songs, the English folk songs on top. So you can think of Debussy the second time you do something, a little airy, you know? Let's do the same place. Debussy in mind. Now back. Debussy is happy. Debussy is happy. Now don't slow down too much because the piece will be also here. Yes. More than that is like. Debussy, yes. Folk tune from the villages of England. Move. can do something interesting because that was really nice I like those timings because otherwise it really becomes endless and um, here make that different harmony not exactly in tempi something different take a little before Not directly in tempo. Some rubato would be nice. Same?
time. Also on the trip, you think, yeah, da, 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 I'm And you can do slide at the end. That take a little time. Right, we come in. Not so much. I didn't mean so much. I just meant color. That was very nice. Uh, I didn't mean to take. Where was the part before? Um, maybe. No, the one before. Not, not so much. Just give a little attention to this. Um, let's go to nine now. You can make it much more um, dramatic. Try down bow and down bow. You end down bow and then down bow. Let's take um, one, two, three before twelve. And here, and here, and here, both of you have to change the harmony. Ooh, something so different. Don't take here so many rubatos as the first time. Go. Like you're going to the same solution, but actually not. A little different. Triplet. Sonore. Now Debussy. Change the color. What's on the book? Slide a little. Bravo.
Thank you very much. Thank you very much.